Praise the Lord. Let us pray. We can be seated because uh, we address all before we start the Sunday service. Let us be in Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of this morning. We thank you, Lord, because of your love over us. We thank you, Lord, because of what you are doing for us. We thank you, Lord, because of what you will still continue to do. We thank you, Lord, because of your grace upon every one of us. We thank you, Lord, for how you show your love upon every one of us. Almighty Father, I set our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are here this morning. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, no one among us will go empty and then in the name of Jesus Christ. And your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, O Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's everybody say Amen. I want to welcome every one of us to today's service and then I will like our utmost attention. And then, once again, as I always said, I'm your child. It is because of the love of God. All of you love me. And then, you are coming under my house to come and fellowship. If not because of God, you won't love me. And then, if not because you don't love me, you won't be. There's a lot of way to be worshiping God nowadays. But I know all what you are looking at is that you are not looking at yourself alone. You are looking at me too. That how will I make it to the kingdom of God? That okay, if we do not go to the church, how is family are going to fellowship together. If we are not there, how is the church need to go? So, I really, 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 and God sees my heart, appreciate every one of you for your love. And I believe by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not step aside from that love then you will continue to grow on it every day of your life in Jesus' name. Uh, where we have population, we always have a lot of challenges. I want you to know. Uh, the way I was brought up is not the way my wife was brought up. The way by the grace of the Lord, I copy from all of you. God has blessed me with the children. Half male, half female. In my language, they will say there is no third child. Uh, I know the character of the male. I know the character of the female. And then many days, I keep watching them so that I can able to cope with them. Uh, the, you may not know the male one. Uh, it took something from me. Uh, my son may not sleep till three o'clock. Four o'clock, if he has one thing or the other to do, he won't sleep. Uh, it's a part of my life. Uh, the, I'm just telling you, sir, Paul, all of them are from me, but I've seen their character. The 
female one, he, he set priority that this is what I want to do. And then immediately she finished that priority, she abandoned the other one. She doesn't mind whosoever does it. You get what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm learning from them and I'm working. I'm telling you, acting with me is not around. He has gone to camp. And then the body, the pressure has to be upon me. You see, all those things you see outside, they don't supposed to be there. But because I was so under pressure, and then the best thing is just to be eliminating what I don't need to eliminate. I will just put them as well. And then I want to tell you, if not because this little girl is here yesterday, you won't have service today. You know what happened? Just a little thing. I came with me always prepared to this service. I'm going somewhere so that all of you can be shock absorber whatever that is happening not any not a single person every one of us so what i think me was not around so the pressure of preparing for today's service is on my leg remain the little one so i did all what i could do uh, my key is not here. That's what happened yesterday. Too. Oh, seriously. Okay. Uh, I want to say, um, please, I want, I'm going somewhere. And I want you to know that every one of us are one. And then the, in the United States, they let us know. Divided, we fall. In unity, we stand. But no matter what the case may be, don't understand one another then we continue to be problem then when things like that happens what you need to do you book up to your bible so anything that is not biblical you go away from it anything that is biblical if the other person does not agree you can't force it you are not going to bear the consequence for him. Your only, your only side is that you are not going to compromise your own side with the Bible. If the person wants to compromise and you do all what you can do, you go back to prayer. So if the person said, okay, I'm not, I'm not ready, what happened? Uh, Paul and then Barnabas and Mark Barnabas said, okay, we are going to take Mark along. Paul said, no. Along the line, two of them separate just because of one person. But later on in the Bible, you see them, they united together again when they say, so what am I saying? Uh, Thank you. Because Akeomi was not around, I keep this thing, all the what we are going to do today, I keep it here. And I want to put it to the computer. Which is, that was the first time I would do it. So I put it there. By the time I put it there, I was ready for work. I was looking for it for more than one hour. I am this girl. We are looking for it. It was so tense. It was so tense. I won't deceive you on, on the air. I couldn't take my shower. If some of you take note of me this morning, you will see brush in my pocket. I couldn't brush my mouth. I just so it was later on about nine o'clock we discovered that the key is here. Then I pick up. Pam, 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 pam. I couldn't. What am I trying to say? If I call me is here. That one wouldn't happen. But if I can with me, uh, if I can with me, uh, if she is not here, the things will have been, I won't, won't have service today at all. So I've known their characters. 
they are my children and i'm able to study them uh, this is the attitude of this one this is attitude of this one and then is you see them how they close to me you see them and i deal with them in that character to build them up to follow them up so one thing the bible told us in the book of hebrew which is they call it national anthem of the Pala Bible Church in the book of Hebrew chapter 12 verse 14. Hebrew chapter 12 Hebrew the book of Hebrews yes thank you thank you mommy please yeah. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 12 Hebrews chapter 12 the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 Saying, follow peace with all men look at it our uh, holiness not only one man not your neighbor not your neighbor all men you know when they refer to men in the bible uh they refer to both women and men because hebrew they follow I don't want to say they follow men, but they always count men and women together. So the Bible now says, follow peace with all men and holiness. Look at it. Follow peace. There can never be anything between me and Sunday. Pastor Matthew want to do this. Sunday said no. And then he called me. This is what I no, Sandy, this is what I want to know. That one doesn't cause problem. She is still my mom. I'm still his son. You get what I'm saying? The only thing there is that, okay, Pastor Matthew, this is what you want to do. I will not support you in doing that. But that one does not cut our relationship. And I will keep praying for you so that you will not go in sin you get what i'm saying so we remain friends but i she doesn't she does not compromise i think we get what i'm saying now every one of us are we on the same page we remain friends but that doesn't cause disunity that one does not cause uh grudges that one does not cause So that's what the Bible was saying. Follow peace. So immediately that you see that you are not following peace with all men, know that there's something wrong with you. And you are not in a way of the Lord. You are not living by blame, Kali. You get what I'm saying? The only thing is that an holiness, do not compromise. This is what the Bible says. That is what the Bible says. That's why you that one does not mean you'll be fighting for anybody. Uh let me make a very good example. A very good example. Please let me and then the person I want to make a good example will know. There's a lot of things I've been talking about, uh, brother Dimentric. I'm praying for you that this man, I want you to leave this. I want you to leave this. He is a senior member of this church. Dementric. You get what I'm saying? He has not left them. And I'm praying for him every day that he should leave it. But that one does not cause our relationship to be caught. The only thing that what is doing, I will never participate in it. And he too knows that this is Pastor Matthew. He will never participate in this. But my dream that he make it to the kingdom of God. I too make it to the kingdom of God. And he knows where I stand. That this is where Pastor Matthew stands. And I will never compromise. So you get what I'm saying? So follow peace with all men. With holiness. That holiness means what the Bible. I'm 
God is going to help us in Jesus' name. So he said, without which no man shall see that. I cannot say because uh mommy sandy cannot say because she hates me she does not like me just because she does not like me and she will lose the kingdom of god just because i want to i do something or else you get what i'm saying nana can matter said okay because i don't like what pastor is doing and then she will become my pastor will become my enemy you can't make it to the kingdom of god so you have to follow peace with me you have there's a something they call full obedience of the word of the Lord. I follow peace with her. I follow, you follow peace with me and I do not compromise my standard. I know you get what I'm saying now. I love Radimentary. We share a lot of things. He appreciates me. A mom appreciates me. But there's something he, he does that I don't do. And that one does not make us an enemy. And he knows that this is the standard of Pastor Matthew. And I'm praying for him. And that one does not cross an enemy. All what he knows that, okay, when Pastor Matthew is here, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I must not do this. And then if he asks me why, this is what the Bible says about it. So whatever that is not in the Bible, you will not come in agreement with you to do it together. Take it, forget it. But for peace, I will move in peace with you. And then, so now let us look at the first Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4. First, this is a family meeting. I need to address it so that everybody can know what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4. For why one said, I am of Paul? And another, I'm a, Apollo. Are you not Kana? You get what I'm saying? Ah, somebody say, I am of Pastor Matthew. Another one say, I'm of Sister Gracia. You get what I'm saying? The Bible now said, Are we not Kana? Kana me, we align flesh to control us. Either Pastor Matthew or Sister Gracia, two of us were under the umbrella of God. So, uh, Sister Andy cannot say, Oh, I'm supporting Gracia. And then, uh, Martha say, I'm supporting Matthew. No, Pastor Matthew, no. What all of us need to believe is the commandment of God, not individual. So, when all of us believe in the commandment of God, we will walk in what? In unity. And there will be no problem. So, but whatever you cannot do, that I know it is not biblical. And I tell you, please do not do this thing. But you have not, underst- you have not understood the reason why I said you shouldn't do it. I will leave you alone. When the consequence comes, you are the one to bear the consequence. It is not me. When the reward comes, you are the one to bear the reward. It is not me. So if we are in unity, we are together, and I advise you that do not do this thing according to what the Bible says, not according to what I said. According to what the Bible says, then you know that that's what Bible said that you should not do it. But if you say you want to do it, you are against the Bible, and I leave you alone. There's nothing anybody ever done that there's no consequence. The consequence will come. So when the consequence come, the only thing you will tell me that oh, Pastor Marty, this thing happened, this thing passing, and I will say I will be praying for you. But by that time. You know why? It is too late. My pastor let me know. If you have a wound, the scar, you see, the wound may be ill, but the scar, the scar will be there. So if you take a wrong decision, yes, you, it, 
you may realize later, but the consequence of that decision you made, it will ever be there. Hi, right, Mommy Grisha. We have been talking a lot about life, uh, marital life, uh, marriage, and then we uh, we have shared a lot about the conse- um, um, the consequence of taking a wrong step. And we have learned. So please, I want to. We are not too many now. God is using us to build the church. A lot of things will be coming up. Let us have shock absorber. Shock absorber to accept what that needed to be accepted and reject what that is needed to be rejected. But that one does not mean we are going to be separated. We are one in Christ. Whatever happened, should I not talk to this particular person? Does the Bible say you shouldn't talk to that particular person? You get what I'm saying? Should I not be a friend with that particular person? Does the Bible say you shouldn't be a friend with that particular person? Should I go into immorality with this particular person? Does the Bible say I should go in into immorality with this particular person? You get what I'm saying now? So whatever the Bible said no, it is no. That one does not mean you are going to, there will be disunity until the person realizes that what I'm doing is wrong. God will help us in Jesus' name. So please, let us take the Bible as the basic of our living. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Once again, I appreciate every one of you. You will not miss me. I will not miss you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name for this little exhortation. We thank you, Lord, for the way you have talked to us as a family. I pray by the power and the ability of Jesus Christ, we shall not lose our reward in Jesus' name. It is your love that we don't miss the kingdom of God. I pray by the power and the ability of Jesus Christ, no one among us will miss it in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. Thank you, O Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Us continue to close our eyes when we are praying and, uh, to close our eyes when we are praying and then it's because of i know the uh, physical uh, challenge of many of us we need to be standing up anytime we are praying but sometimes i pardon us uh, god will help us in jesus name after saying that we open our aim to him 55 in five Anywhere with Jesus, I can safely go. Anywhere he leads me in this world below. Anywhere without him, there is joys will fade. Anywhere with Jesus, I am not afraid. Anywhere with Jesus, I am not alone. Other friends may fail me, he is still my own. Though his hand may lead me o'er dearest ways. Anywhere with Jesus is a house of praise. Anywhere with Jesus over land and sea, telling souls in darkness of salvation free. 
ready as he summons me to go or stay anywhere with Jesus when he points the way anywhere with Jesus I can go to sleep when the darkness shadows round about me creep knowing I shall wake in never more to roam anywhere with Jesus will be home sweet home anywhere anywhere fear I cannot know anywhere with Jesus I can safely go.